dear child of God. The word of God in Proverbs chapter 25 verse 25 says, Like cold water to a weary soul, so is good news from a distant land. My God. It says like cold water to a weary soul, so is good news. Dear child of God, good news is coming to you. Whatever it was that may have made your soul to become weary, dear child of God, whatever it was that may have caused you to be down, I want you to know today that something is going to come your way that will cause you to rejoice in the mighty name of Jesus. He says there is something coming to you today that will strengthen you, that would gladden your heart. Dear child of God, that news that you have been expecting, you are going to hear in the mighty name of Jesus. That thing that you have been waiting for to happen, God will make it happen in the mighty name of Jesus. Dear child of God, your expectations shall be met in the mighty name of Jesus. Those things that seem to be a challenge around your life, dear child of God, they shall be dealt with in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever it is that you have been expecting God to do, I want you to know today that God will make it happen in Jesus' mighty name. God knows that you have been weary. God knows that you have been tired. God knows that you have been weak. And so he's saying something is coming your way that will turn everything around. He says, weeping may endure for the night, but joy is coming in the morning. You shall rejoice again, dear child of God. You shall get that contract, dear child of God. That thing that will cause you to be excited all the day long, you shall receive in the mighty name of Jesus. You may have been struggling, dear child of God. Today, the struggles will come to an end in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God will revive you. There will be a restoration, dear child of God. There will be a restoration of all things. In the mighty name of Jesus. What is it you have lost? What is it that was taken away from you? What are those things, dear child of God, that was deprived you for a long time? Today you will hear the news that they are yours already. In the mighty name of Jesus. You have been checking your mail from time after time because of the good news that you were waiting for. Dear child of God, you shall get it. God will do it miraculously. Believe it and have faith because God will make it happen. In the mighty name of Jesus, you may have been waiting on God, looking at your phone every day for that call, that call that would lead you to the place of honor, that call that would lead you to your place of promotion. God will make it happen in the mighty name of Jesus. He knows everything that your heart desires, dear child of God. He knows everything that you have been expecting and he's saying to you, I'm going to do them. I'm going to do each and every one of them and your joy shall be full in the mighty name of Jesus. Expect the good news of the blessings of God meant for you and for your family in the mighty name of Jesus. Dear child of God, I hear the sound of the abundance of rain because there is going to be a shower. There will be showers of blessings coming your way in the mighty name of Jesus. What are those things that have been lacking around your life? They would happen. They would happen and God will cause your joy to be full. God will cause your joy to be full. Dear child of God, the Lord God of heaven will cause your joy to be full in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There is hope in Jesus, dear child of God. Encourage yourself in the Lord because God will bring a change to that situation that you have been seeking for a change to happen in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You shall receive that power. Dear child of God, you shall receive everything that your heart has been believing for in the mighty name of Jesus. Please don't stop pursuing the things that you have been pursuing because you are closer. You are closer to your breakthrough, dear child of God. You are closer to that victory. You are closer to that upliftment. You are closer. You are very close to that wonderful thing that God will do in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will still be set to dear child of God. You will be settled. I say you will be settled in the mighty name of Jesus. You may have been asking God when. When will you do it? When will it happen? God is saying to you, I will come. The time appointed is near and I will make it happen. God will make it happen for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Dear child of God, I want you to know the word of God says you will do a new thing. It says it will spring forth and you will know it. Dear child of God, 
expect something new my god expect something brand new from god in the mighty name of jesus what are those things that you have told god please i want a new one i'm tired of using old stuffs dear child of god it is time god is saying to you you will get it i would make it happen miraculously yes you are thinking where would i get the monies from you're thinking how would i acquire them how would i acquire them how would i get them god is saying don't worry i know the how and i will make it happen i know just the right people to bring them your way i know the people to speak to i know the people to cause their heart to be steered towards your direction dear child of god if god said he would do it then trust him and you don't need to bother how he's going to do it he would most definitely do it and there will be that good news that will cause you to sing songs of praises in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You would wake up to that news that everything had gone the way you wanted them to go in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will hear the report that everything has turned around for your favor in the mighty name of Jesus. Have there been a case upon your life for a long time? Have some people been dragging the things that you have labored for? You will hear the good news that you won, dear child of God. You would hear the good news that it has ended for your favor. You will hear the good news that the judgment, yes, the judgment has been served. The verdict has been given and it was for your favor, dear child of God. You serve the God of justice. You serve the God that knows exactly what to do to his children. And he's saying to you, the thing that you deserve, I will do for you. He's saying to you what you rightfully deserve, I would make happen. Dear child of God, please trust God. Trust God if he said I would do it. And you will see it in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever it is that made you to cry and sorrow, it shall come to an end. In the mighty name of Jesus. Just one thing you need to do is to make sure you do not lose faith. One thing you need to do, dear child of God, is to make sure you do not give up hopes. And I want you to know, Whatever it was that may have caused your soul to be weary for a long time. Whatever it was that may have caused your soul to be weary for a very long time. You will discover that everything has changed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What you are hoping for, dear child of God, you will get. The things that you are searching for, dear child of God, they would all find you in the mighty name of Jesus. God will do it, dear child of God. God will do it. God will make it happen. And God will cause your joy to be full in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Dear child of God, and when yours happen, it will be the latest. When yours happens, dear child of God, it will be the latest. Yes, it may look as though it had taken some time. It may look as though it took a long time for it to happen. But when yours happen, it will be the talk of the town. In the mighty name of Jesus, get set to testify because I know for sure without a doubt that God will not put you to shame in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He knows all that you need and he's saying to you, I the Lord will make them happen. I the Lord will bring them to pass. I know your prayers. I know your petitions and I will do it speedily. He says it will come quickly. His reward is with him. Everything that you deserve every reward that you are supposed to get they are with the lord and he will bring them your way the word of god in revelation chapter 3 verse 8 says i know your deeds see i have placed before you an open door that no one can shut i know that you have little strength yet you have kept my word and i have not denied my name it says and you have not denied my name dear child of god the Lord God of heaven, the God that you serve, would open a door for you that no enemy can shut. The Lord God of heaven would open that door, that door of your blessing, that door of your prosperity, that door of your good health that no enemy can stop in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He says, he knows your works. He knows everything that you have done right. He knows how you have served him. Dear child of God, the Lord knows how much you have committed yourself to him. He knows what you had been through. 
and then he's saying to you the time of your blessings will come and nothing on the face of the earth will be able to stop you from testifying dear child of god all that the enemies would do everything that they have done thus far would not succeed anymore because it is time for you to be blessed it may have lingered it may have stayed for so long but i want to assure you by the word of the lord your blessings will come your blessings will come in measures beyond your imagination in the mighty name of jesus christ Dear child of God, what is it you have been pursuing? What is it you have been trying to achieve that seems so impossible? This day, the Lord has opened the door that no enemies can shut in the mighty name of Jesus. Have you been having some project in mind that it seems as though you just cannot achieve? You have done everything possible and it's not just pulling through. I want to assure you by the word of the Lord today. The Lord has opened that door for you that no man can shut. It says, I know your works. Dear child of God, you have been doing so fine. You have been laboring. But it seems like there is no result to all the things that you have done. Today, everything is changing by the name of the Lord. Everything is changing by the power of God. And everything you deserve will be yours. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you have not denied the name of God. You are stood in integrity. The Lord is saying, it is time for me to stand for you. And everything that goes with it, you will see in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So what are those doors you have envisaged? Dear child of God, you will walk right through them. It is true that there are many adversaries. It is true that there are people standing against you from receiving your blessings. But today, God will make sure they will be out of your way. In the mighty name of Jesus. You see, Paul would say that a great and effectual door was opened unto him, but yet there were many adversaries. But none of those adversaries at the end of the day could stop him from achieving the things he needed to achieve. And that was because God was with him. God stood by him. God assisted him. God sustained him until he did everything possible that he was supposed to do. Every door that needs to be opened unto you, dear child of God, they will be opened in the mighty name of jesus and the blessings of god the honors of god everything that comes from god the favor of god you would receive in the mighty name of jesus dear child of god tell yourself this day that this is the day that this is the day of my blessing this day is the day of my turnaround breakthrough this day is the day of my victory and i shall walk into it in the mighty name of jesus and all those that may have fought against you those who stood against your progress, those who said you will never make it in life, dear child of God, every single one of them will fall before you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Have you done some wonderful things? And it looks as though that you have not been remembered. It looks as though you have been forgotten. It looks as though you did not receive the blessings for what you did. Today, everything will turn around. See, that was the case of Mordecai. Mordecai did something that deserved honor but he did not get the honor some people stood stood on the path of his breakthrough a man fought against him but when the lord said it is time to be remembered it is time to be favored god made sure that he took rest from the king until mordecai was honored dear child of god i have this good news for you you shall be honored in the mighty name of jesus christ you will see that promotion that you have been expecting of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. That breakthrough, that deliverance, dear child of God, that sustenance. Everything that you have been seeking from the Lord, you will get in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Everything that needs to work in your life, they will begin to work in Jesus' mighty name. And whatever may have lingered, dear child of God, the things that took a long time to come, this day I prophesy and I speak over your life. They will begin to come through in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your marital destinies will be opened up in the name of Jesus Christ. Dear child of God, you will see the blessings of God. Settlement on all sides in Jesus' mighty name. All that the Lord said you are going to achieve, dear child of God, you will achieve them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your finances will shoot high again in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You may have experienced stagnation because the enemies are stood on the way of your breakthrough. 
Yes, they shut the doors that were opened unto you. But today, the Lord will make sure those behind it, they will pay dearly. And everything you need will be flowing in, in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord wants you to know that you shall be promoted in Jesus' mighty name. Yes, it's been a long time that your promotion had lingered. You had waited. And today, you will see that promotion. Promotion doesn't come from man. It doesn't come from the east nor from the west. But it comes from the Lord. And God is reminding you today. You will see that promotion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will be uplifted. Yes, they wanted you down. They wanted you destroyed. They wanted you gone. But they've all failed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. They fought against Daniel. But God stood by him. God made sure he got into the realm of his blessings. Dear child of God, you will get into the realm of your blessing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God will make sure because the Lord delights to honor you. He has delighted to favor you, dear child of God. No enemy, no one on the face of the earth, no devil will be able to stop your blessings from coming in. No one will be able to stop your favor from reaching you in the mighty name of Jesus. Just keep calling on the name of the Lord and the Lord that knows how to change situation, the Lord that knows how to bless every soul, the Lord that knows how to bless every life would most definitely bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And everyone around you will come to see the wonders of God done in your life in Jesus mighty name. He says, I know your deeds. See, I have placed before you an open door that no one can shut. No one will be able to shut your blessings from you. Dear child of God, no one will be able to stop you from walking into the realm of your victories and breakthroughs in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every labor, dear child of God, will pay off in your life this day in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your prayer shall be answered in the name of Jesus. Everything you have spoken to God about, He said, as I hear you say it, so I will do it. Dear child of God, everything you have spoken, God will do. Yes, and the enemies, the mockers, the haters, the people that said you will not do much in your life, they will see it in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Amen stood on the path of Mordecai's breakthrough and God made sure he took him out of the way. God will take them out of the way. Dear child of God, God will take each and every one of them out of the way. Those who fought against you, those who made you to suffer, those that made you to cry, those that made you to stand and wait for a long time, dear child of God, God will deal with each and every one of them and none of them will be able to escape. They would all regret doing all the things they did against you in the mighty name of Jesus. Trust the God that settles the lives of everyone and he would most definitely set to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That door that no one can shut has been opened up unto you and you will see greater blessings coming your way in the name of Jesus. I call it done because it is settled and you shall be uplifted in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you. And shalom.